Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about Schizotypal Personality Disorder. I am Dr. Suresh Padadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about Schizotypal Personality Disorder, Diagnostic Criteria, Prevalence and Management of Schizotypal PD. What is the Schizotypal? This was the term coined by a psychiatrist, Sander Rado in 1953. Sander Rado tried to describe a group of individuals or patients who exhibited certain characteristics which are distinct from psychotic symptoms or neurosis. That means he named them neither their schizophrenia or anxiety disorder. Hence he called them as schizotypal disorder. He observed that they had odd, eccentric, inappropriate thinking, behavior, and mode. This odd eccentric behavior pushed them away from socializing and also nobody wants to become their close friend. Hence, they lack confiding social relationship. They are invariably called as odd person, weird person or a different person in the society. Let's look into the DSM-5 diagnostic criteria for schizotypal personality disorder. For schizotypal, there should be a pervasive pattern of social and interpersonal deficit marked by acute discomfort with and reduced capacity for close relationship as well as cognitive and perceptual distortions and eccentricities in the behavior and it should be present in most of the context in the life. They should have at least five below symptoms. What are those five? First and the foremost is ideas of reference. That means they should not have delusion, only ideas. Odd beliefs or magical thinking that influence behavior and is inconsistent with subcultural norms. They also have unusual perceptual experience including bodily illusions. They will have odd thinking and speech. Speech will be vague, circumstantial, metaphorical, over-elaborate and stereotyped. Sometimes they also have suspiciousness or paranoid ideation. Inappropriate or constricted effect is seen. Behavior or appearance that is odd, eccentric and peculiar is noted. Lack of close friends and confiding relationship is the characteristics. Excessive social anxiety that does not diminish with familiarity and tends to be associated with paranoid fear rather than negative judgment about self. And these symptoms should not be secondary to any schizophrenia, borderline or substance use or medical condition. Of course, schizotypal personality disorder can be diagnosed with other medical condition or psychiatric condition if you are able to establish this personality disorder was prior to the onset of psychiatric illness. Let's look into the prevalence. The prevalence of schizotypal personality disorder is somewhere around 4% as per National Epidemiological Survey. If you look into the differential diagnosis, the schizotypal PD will have odd, eccentric, unusual behavior. They may have transient psychotic symptoms, but these symptoms are stable, enduring, and they do not have any delusions and hallucination. Whereas schizophrenia patient will have delusions, hallucination, disorganized behavior, impaired activities of daily living, impaired biological, social, and occupational dysfunction. Diagnosis of schizotypal PD is done by a good clinician doing good clinical interview, detailed evaluation, observation, collecting information from multiple sources such as parents, siblings, friends, relatives and colleagues. Of course, you can use projective test for diagnosis of schizotypal. Invariably, various other personality disorder scales can be utilized such as personality assessment inventory, SCID, Minnesota Multiphasic, Personality Inventory Scale 2, Million Clinical Multi Auxiliary Inventory 2, 3, Personal Diagnostic Questionnaire 4, and Schizotypal Personality Questionnaire can be used here. With regard to treatment, similar to any personality disorder, the treatment is medications, psychotherapy, and combination. However, there are hardly few studies with regard to treatment of schizotypal PDs. Hence, evidence-based recommendation for treatment of schizotypal PD 
is not available. There are only few open label studies available. Recently in 2018, Krishna and his colleagues did a systematic review of schizotypal personality disorder and they looked into various aspects and they were able to find 18 studies on diagnostic in instruments, 22 studies looked into pharmacological treatment, 3 on psychotherapy and 13 on longitudinal course of the schizotypal disorder. The results clearly said that Respiridone and Olanzapine are found to be effective in schizotypal personality disorder. The literature on psychotherapy is very sparse and that does not allow them to recommend for therapy. However, you can try psychotherapy in schizotypal PD. Moderate rem remission rates have been found to be in the long term course and outcome of schizotypal personality disorder. To conclude, my dear friends, schizotypal personality disorder are odd, eccentric, inappropriate with regard to thinking, behavior and feelings that is affect. The prevalence of schizotypal PD is 4%. There are hardly few studies with regard to treatment of schizotypal personality disorder, prevalence, long-term course and outcome. It is difficult to make any strong treatment recommendation because the research is, studies are very few. With regard to treatment, available evidence indicates to, to Respiridon and Valansapine. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time. Stay safe.